Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Altcoins have been surging over the last 24 hours and last few days. So we're going to take a look at the altcoins against their Bitcoin value to update the charts and just see how we're going with our plan of Bitcoin rising, altcoins sagging, bleeding and seeing what is coming next. So make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, daily Q&As. If you want to understand more about this and not just wait for the YouTube videos, definitely go follow me on Instagram and Twitter, posting there very, very regularly. Easy way to stay up to date and get a little more understanding of what it is we're talking about from the videos rather than just the titles and sometimes the thumbnails. So let's have a look at the market caps, 1.468 trillion Remember our 50% point, 1.33 trillion. So we're still looking really good there. BTC dominance, 44%, having a small pullback. We'll look at that on the chart as well. Bitcoin, 34,600. Ethereum, 2,300. Done quite well over the last few days and it has increased in its Bitcoin value, just like we've seen with many altcoins lately. They've risen against their Bitcoin value. Now, I do remember seeing a few of these comments saying, well, it looks like the BTC plan is failing. We should have been buying altcoins at the bottom. And personally, like I've mentioned many times before, my outlook is a lot longer than a few days, a few days, a few weeks. My outlook is months. I've been talking about that with Bitcoin reaching its all time high. So just as some anchor points, Bitcoin's all time high is 14th of April. And from that point, I'm now looking at around six to 12 months beneath that all time high measured from that all time high. So as we see altcoins rise, it's exactly what we've been talking about. There are going to be moves where the market will rise and then fade again, rise and fade again. The deciding factor here, the basically the point to figure out, is this the real boom or not, is when the market comes back. Do we see it come back and test those lows, potentially breaking through them? Or do we see it start to form a higher low? A higher low is the key here. And we've always maintained that we will forego some of the profits from the absolute bottom because I'm not here to buy absolute lows or sell absolute tops. That's not what investing is about. And we need to remain flexible in our ideas of the market. We need to be open to taking a chunk of the market. You don't need to buy the absolute low or buy the absolute top. And I look at getting some tests to figure out whether that is the low or it's going to be broken and we're going to see further lows. So let's move across to DOT. Now I've brought up any of these examples, any of these altcoins, we can see that they've had a little move up. And this is a weekly chart. So I'm bringing it back to uh, a bigger time frame because obviously we sort of wake up, check our phones and go, whoa, okay, market's up 5% for Polkadot and 20% for Aave and things like that. The main thing we want to see here is this is looking good because we're seeing a breakout of previous highs. June 22nd is an important date to remember because that was uh, a, a catastrophic day in the markets. That was where Bitcoin headed lower, just like the 23rd and the 19th. So those are all important psychological market sentiment days that we need to overcome. All right, so should we get above these sorts of days here, 20 seconds? Uh, that is going to be a good confirming factor that maybe we're on the path to really taking out these highs again. But until then, these are just moves within the, uh, the new minor trend. You can see we had a low at 28 and now we started to move up, broken some highs. It's a good first start, but overall, I'm not overly excited. I said over quite a few times there, but you get the point. So we're seeing volume depreciate. We're seeing not many people left in the markets. It's just getting quite very quiet out there. And we want to see good heavy volume coming back in, like we saw back at these levels, heavy volume supporting it. That could mean that the amount of selling is drying up, and that's a good sign. So then what we want to see is big volume coming in when we start to break through these levels. That's what you want to see because uh, as all the buyers come in, we start to break levels and more and more people see it and more and more people want to buy it because the lows in, meaning that there are no more sellers. All right, so that's the flip between the markets. So let's take a look at the dominance as well. We're at 44.86, basically 45. We've gone on a reasonable downtrend here. But as you can tell, 
we are still holding up pretty well. We've had many, many days down, a couple of little minor days up within this trend. But overall, we're still well above uh, these lows here at 41% and where we bottomed out at around 39.6%. So we're looking like we're trending sideways in this little range as the market still decides what it wants to do. So that's all I'm looking at there. Lows, let's put the lows in here. And we'll keep an eye on that. So I'm not overly... Uh, concerned with it at the moment. I, uh, what I would be concerned with is if we start to take out these lows, which means Bitcoin's dominance is dropping, which means the money's got to go somewhere. It either goes to stable coins, meaning the whole market's dropping, or it goes to altcoins, the major ones, and we see those increasing. Some of the majors say like Binance. So this is Binance against Bitcoin. You, you would have noticed that the previous chart that I looked at with Polkadot dot was against the Bitcoin value, so not against the US dollar value. Binance Bitcoin, it's also had a pretty hard time, but it's bounced really nice off the 50% and it's just starting to break its downtrend. So that's a good sign that the market is slowing, which we've looked at before as well. We want the market to be slowing and then start to trickle out as well so that we can start to accumulate uh, the positions that we want at that point in time. So Binance here, you can see this was the first move that it broke out of to the upside. And then we've just done that again. So I'm just lining up a couple of highs. Ideally, you want three highs. And you can see the market's just had a little bit of a push up. And so we've known this, meaning that we could see a break of the trend and then fade again. That's what we're looking for here. We want to see it fade again and then look to see how it responds to these lows because that's going to give us an idea of how strong the market is. If we take a look back at Binance, so let's use our 50% put it on log and then we just look at the lows here low to this high you can see it bounces nicely off 50% and starts to move again could this be another move up again potentially but I still think we need to see some uh, a bit more of a fade in the move because I think maybe we see something like this happening here and that's about 23 weeks currently we are at eight weeks so about a third of the way through a typical move like this. I don't think we're in a three-year bear market, so you can see 90 weeks straight down. And Binance was one of the late movers as well. It captured a lot of uh, it captured a lot of gain during the 2018 bear market. So it was moving slightly different to the major markets. Let's look at Aave because Aave's had a pretty uh, pretty solid run this year, but it's also had a pretty big bear market and just went really really quiet before it took off. And so when we take it off the logarithmic chart, you can see that it's really had some big spikes and it's trying this spike again. Personally, I think I need to, well, I would want to see it move more in this direction, have a longer accumulation period than a straight down, potentially straight up. And if I look at those sort of gains, I still don't see them as anything that I'm that interested in. So there's 100% of my Bitcoin, potentially 170, 180% if it was to get back to this all time high which is leading me to believe that I, I think it's probably going to top out to at least come back and test these. That's what I want to see and see how it reacts to those sorts of levels. And this is what I'll be applying to any other altcoin that I'm looking at. This is exactly the same analysis and I just apply that to other altcoins. So we haven't even tested the 50% level yet. Volume is pretty low generally. And overall, I want to see more volume come back into the market if we're about to make this move. That's why I think maybe we'll test this. Maybe we'll come a little higher to the 61%, fade out again, and just start its recovery process from that point. Let's look at the fear and greed index, 28 today. Not too bad because, again, the alts have been moving up. So I think it's taking some of the, the fear out of the markets. Our fear and greed plan, if we go back and have a look at Bitcoin's price, it is at 34,850. Bitcoin hasn't really done too much, but in terms of our plan, we're at 34,850. That sits us basically break even. We've put in 10 uh, different times that we've bought Bitcoin. So 10 allotments of a thousand bucks each. You guys do what you need to with the with this sort of plan. It's just some simple maths and looking at the fear and greed chart. It's not a completed plan by any means. I, I see a lot of questions come through on Instagram about this plan. Uh, it, it's a great start, but it's not complete. 
please, please, please understand that. And in, in the comments as well, it's really good to see that you guys are seeing some plans and you're using this time in the bear market when everything's quiet to work on plans and just be more prepared for when the bull market comes because when the bull market comes, it is very, very noisy. If you guys remember from February, March, April, even into May, the market is so noisy. It's really hard to grasp what it is that you're supposed to be doing. Am I supposed to be holding these altcoins and until $300,000 Bitcoin in September? You know, all this sort of stuff isn't really a plan. It's just numbers in the sky. So it's good to see that you guys are at least getting on board with some sort of plan and working things out. Um, so yeah, love to hear that. I love to see it in the comment section as well. Looking at SwiftX, so this is our portfolio. I haven't looked at this in a very long time on the channel. Uh, if you guys want to be trading cryptocurrencies, there is a link to this in the description down below for SwiftX. Get your 10 bucks of free Bitcoin when you sign up. Um, looking at this, 7% down. This We started at 13 grand in this demo account here. Uh, back when Bitcoin was in February. So we were sitting somewhere in these times here at around a 40 something thousand dollar Bitcoin. Mid to end of February is when we started to put a lot of money into this. Well, we started with $13,000 and we're currently only 7.5% down. I tr uh, transferred, I sold and consolidated positions into these majors here. And of course, I'm holding some AUD, looking for some lower buys. I did forget about this for a while and just came back to it and thought, wow, this has actually held up pretty well. I've got mostly in ADA, Sol, Link, and Polkadot. So Polkadot has been the worst performer out of all of these. Solana's held up pretty well. We know Cardano's held up very well. Link also had a little bit of a struggle. The dollar value has fallen a lot, but look, at the end of the day, you can't win them all and that's only about 30% of our portfolio. We still have about 23% in AUD, so in our fiat currency, and then we can go out and buy some ETH, some BTC, maybe some more ADA, some Sol or Matic if it comes lower. They're the ones that I'm really looking at. Um, during this period, waiting for these markets to fall. The graph was one of those that was in our portfolio, but I sold that off because I could just see it trending lower and lower and lower, and we've lost more and more value. Well, we don't hold it anymore, but it was losing a lot of BTC value, and I'm waiting for another time to enter that market again. Altcoins overall are doing okay, but the main thing I'm looking at here is I'm waiting to see whether we get a test of some of these highs. Is this just a relief rally, which can take days to weeks? I'm not looking at this in a short-term time frame of hours to a few days, which is generally, unfortunately, what happens with a lot of people viewing these videos. Like we've gone up one solid day. We've had two to three days up, a nice solid day. What's happening now? We're not sure. And all of a sudden, it's supposed to be the bull market's back on, the plan's wrong, and we should have bought altcoins you know, weeks ago. That's not how I play the market. So if that's the way you're doing it, hats off to you, go for gold, do what you need to do. But um, I still need to see some confirmations. And if I forego some of the low areas, like buying the exact low, if you think you can buy the exact low and sell the exact top, like I've said, be my guest, go right ahead, do that. Uh, but I need to see some confirmation. You know, I wanna see some highs broken. I wanna see some 50% levels being held. Uh, I wanna see some retests of lows it, and I wanna see some volume coming in. There's just, not much here. We've seen volume come in and push the market up very quickly, comes back down. So we're seeing the market push, uh, some volumes come in, pushing the market up. We're getting lower highs, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. Is this going to be another lower high? You know, like it's, uh, it's, it's not a game that I choose to play. So a few days of 10% here, 20% there, um, not something that I'm looking to do. So altcoins have moved, but I'm waiting to see a bottoming pattern and potentially I'll then be buying into some altcoins with that Bitcoin that I've been buying at the lows, like we've seen with the fear and greed index plan. Of course, I use Wyckoff and also GAN analysis to identify areas that I want to get into. So if you want to learn more about that, of course, we've got the, the Investor Accelerator premium membership. Link to that is down below. There's also the Investor Accelerator Lite. New membership is out. Huge discounts on the first 500 people that sign up. We're at about 300 people now. So if you want to jump in, check it out. Link to that is down below. Uh, all of those, yeah, all the links I've talked about today are down below. Follow us on Instagram and on Twitter. Easy way to stay updated with the charts. We have a sponsor for today's video. I want to say thank you to Atrace for sponsoring the video today. Atrace is a decentralized affiliate marketing 
cryptocurrency trying to solve major trust and transparency issues in the traditional affiliate space. So yes, they are a cryptocurrency project, They've been in the space for a few years, and some of these issues have been solved. So that it is a problem that are being worked out, but then there are other areas of it that can't be solved at the moment. And that's what a trace is trying to work out. Not only could it be for referral cards like crypto.com or Voyager apps and things like that, they're thinking of going into marketplaces like NFTs or dApps as well. So if you're selling your NFTs on these services, then they're looking to do a referral in that process and make it decentralized so that if you are selling something, you don't have to wait or trust that the centralized marketplace is going to give you that affiliate commission. Once it's been sold, the smart contract then says, great, it's done. Here is your payout for selling that product. So Trace is the world's first trustless referral network. So as I said before, they guaranteed payouts via smart contracts as a reward for the successful referral. Just as we talked about, if we're going to be referring things online with our digital economies, then we need something that's decentralized that can then pay out the affiliate marketer or anyone that's using the products that wants to get that referral link. The initial release of a trace referral network will focus on referrals of Ethereum-based NFTs. Early adoption, they're gonna use mining rewards, airdrops, and staking to entice the community earn ATTR from the network fees. So we've got a marketing plan in place and it looks like they are paying attention to what's happening in the market at the moment. The ATTR token was recently in an ICO and it's just come out in the last couple of weeks. The price was three and a half cents. Currently it's at around 1.27 cents. So it's uh, down from that ICO price. Now with a max supply of 1 billion, a fully diluted valuation is $12.7 million. So quite a low market cap does not have a circulating supply figure out yet, still waiting on those numbers. And if you want to learn more about it, go and check out coingecko.com, a trace. This is where you will get the official links to the website, the Medium articles, and all of their socials. Final look at Bitcoin today, we're at 34,700. So we are trying to climb out of here. And as I've talked about in many of the videos before, we're looking for 36,000, get a nice solid close above that level, and then hopefully, aim towards our $40,000 resistance points. But for now, this is one of the hardest times to be, tell, uh, to be able to tell what's going on in the market as we are in this really tight wedge and lowering volatility. If we can get that close above 36, then I'm looking for it to obviously shoot up higher from that point and at least come back and try to test these levels that we've seen at 40 and fail already. So that sort of 40 to 42K level. Otherwise, I hope we see a fake out to the downside. That would really increase the fear and give us another buying opportunity within the fear and greed index plan and uh, you know, allow for us to average down on our Bitcoin position and then wait to be patient for the next six to 12 months until we see some much, much bigger, uh, higher prices. So that's what I got for you in today's video, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the altcoin markets, what it is that you are looking to do. Are you being patient? Do you think this is the bottom and you wanna see higher prices? You expect to see higher prices in terms of altcoins? Let me know in the comments down below. Interested to hear that. I'll see you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.